What's up guys, Steven of TSD Industries. We're gonna be talking tech spec today. I'm gonna to be covering tank grips, why you might want them, and a couple of updates that TechSpec USA has done to their product offerings, including the introduction of a new material called X-Line. So let's get started. All right, let's begin by covering tank grips and why you may want them, just so that all of viewers can be caught up to speed in case you're not aware of what these products offer you when you're riding a sport bike. In their most simple form, tank grips are nothing more than these pads or panels that you put on the gas tank area of your motorcycle that provide a really high level of friction that you can lock into with your legs. Let me explain a scenario for you. Imagine you're riding around on your sport bike and you suddenly brake really aggressively. Chances are, if you didn't have tank grips, you slid forward in your seat because no matter how hard you tried to grip onto the tank with your legs, there's simply not enough friction there to keep you from sliding forward. So if that's ever happened to you, then you definitely understand one of the major benefits to tank grips. By applying some of these panels onto your sport bike, it allows you to engage with the chassis of your motorcycle using your lower body, and this inevitably reduces the strain on your upper body. Instead of putting a bunch of weight onto your handlebars during actions like braking and cornering, you can now engage with your lower body and reduce a lot of that weight off the handlebars. So you'll really experience that major benefit of this added friction and your connection with the chassis when you're braking and cornering. Now, some other benefits to tank grips include paint protection. Obviously, the gas tank and that surrounding area is one of the major points that you contact your bike, whether you're wearing leathers, jeans, etc. So it's common for a lot of scratches to occur and tank grips just help provide that barrier between you and the paint to reduce those scratches. That actually segues into another really popular product from TechSpec, which are center tank protectors. You put these on the front of your gas tank, right where belts and other peripherals that are metallic frequently scratch the gas tank and you obviously don't want that. I'm going to first cover some material changes. For those of you that are familiar, there used to be four material options. We had high fusion, which was a really thin protective panel. Then we had C3, which was a kind of softer foam-like material with a pretty good amount of grip. Then we had snakeskin, which was a very rubberized, high level of friction and very durable piece, which was really popular for aggressive riders or track enthusiasts. And then they also had clear. Well, starting with 2017, they're actually dropping high fusion, C3, and clear materials from their regular tank grip kits. The only place that you'll find those three materials are going to be in general sheets, which are just basic squares you can cut your own shapes into, or the center tank protectors. Now, they dropped those three materials because they're introducing a new premier material called X-Line. This, I have to say, is a really cool material. I personally like it a lot. X-Line is the C3 material with an additional top fabric over it. I think that this is like a best of both worlds because you're getting some of the comfort that you get by the plushness of the C3 foam, but you're getting an extremely high level of friction that you found from the snakeskin material. So whether you're going out for a regular Saturday stroll or you're hitting the corners really hard at the track, I think this is going to be the best of both worlds. The only thing I really want to test with time is the durability. One of the great things about snakeskin and its rubberized fashion is that it withstand the test of time really well, especially for leathers and really aggressive riding at the track. But I have to say, if X-Line holds up as well as snakeskin did, which I have a feeling it will, I think this is going to be the go-to material for a lot of people. Now, a lot of tech specs offerings for their tank grips included certain sensor protectors. With X-Line, we're finding that they have done away with that center tank protector because they're assuming you're going to go ahead and get your own piece in one of the different materials. So you can see the one I have here in my hand for the R3. This is the snakeskin material, and it had a little custom-shaped R3 center tank protector included. However, with the new X-Line material, you'll notice it's just the two tank grips, and that's it. This isn't that big of a deal because at the end of the day, this lets you choose the center tank protector shape and material that you want to best suit your needs, but it is something to keep in mind. I can touch on pricing in very general terms. The Snakeskin used to be their premier offering, and now the X-Line is taking that over with a very small price premium, 
but I really do like this material and I think it's going to work really well for a lot of people. TST Industries is going to be one of the first retailers offering this new X-Line material. We're going to try to do our best to reiterate what is included in each of those kits. So we'll tell you the number of panels included and whether or not a center tank protector is included for your particular bike, depending on your material choice. So I encourage you to head on over to tstindustries.com to see if they've launched the X-Line material for your particular sport bike so you can check out some of the cool benefits of this new material. At this point, that's going to wrap it up for this little product feature and update video. If you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below this video if you're watching it on YouTube. Otherwise, you can head on over to tstindustries.com to learn more about these products and get them ordered online. I'm Stephen Fox, and I will catch you guys next time.